But um, yeah, so we are going to, you guys have a couple things that we were, I think we were going to start. Um, we want to talk a little bit about what happened on the campus. I'm going to let, I'm going to let uh, um, um, Drone Tech start with that. And then I'm going to hand that to, you know, Robert to do some talking on that. And then I also wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, hand it off to Robert and have him talk a little bit about the uh, uh, Logan Act and what's going on with Kerry and another senator. I forget his name. What's his name? Murphy. Yeah. Murphy, Senator Murphy. Um, where, again, the left doesn't see the plank in their own eye, but they love to poke the speck out in everybody else's, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're going to talk about that. And then in between while we're doing that, we're going to throw a couple memes up and have a good time laughing at some memes. But I will say, I normally go through and pick all my memes out ahead of time, some really great ones, and I didn't get a chance to lock them up. So we're just going to do a free flow on the meme. And I had all my awesome uh, Discord Discordians um, put in a bunch of cool memes and... Um, so we'll probably use some of those and whatnot. So um, anyways, I'm going to hand it off to Drone Tech for a second because uh, he did a video. Um, and do you have that video, my friend, um, uh, handy, by the way? Or oh, yeah. You should. Uh, can you can you um, no, it I'll up? go to your channel? You talk about it right now and then I'll cue it okay. up and then I'll cue it up. Right. So go ahead. Take it off. Well, um, so most probably everybody by now has heard of over at the University of Virginia, uh, they're, they, they have these multicultural spaces, apparently. And a video came out recently showing uh, a student who is also, I guess, faculty in some capacity, uh, stood up and actually uh, told all the white students in the room. And she did it in a very, uh, very condescending, arrogant way, uh, which I've also heard described as polite, which is funny. <laughs> but she tells the uh, politely racist, she tells all the white students that they're making the, the amount of white students in the classroom is making the people of color uncomfortable and that they should leave because it's not a room for them and all this. Well, of course, the room is for them. It's multicultural, which includes white people. I mean, means many cultures. And if you're inclusive, uh, I would assume that would include white people. But um, Young American Foundation actually went over to the campus and did some interviews with students and <laughs> I don't know how many of you have seen it yet. I put out a little video about it uh, the other day, so go over and check that out if you want. But uh, oh yeah, let's do it right now. Actually, let's, uh, let's okay. Let, let's let's click over to that segment here. Um, it's pretty shocking. Yeah, I mean it's but but it, the thing is, I mean I think it, the reason is uh, you know drone tech is that white people can't be racist. I don't know or, right. or you know I mean that that you can't be black people yeah. can't be racist. That what it is. I mean right. yeah, it's only whites right. that can be racist. So this isn't racist for them to do this. So we're gonna watch a little bit of Ryan's video here. I don't know if we have to watch the whole thing, but uh, make sure you guys can hear it. Yeah. As a white person, I don't want to say that I should be allowed anywhere. As a white person, I don't want to say that I should be allowed anywhere. And it's I think weird. it should be up to those um, organizations to decide. I'm sure that by now, everybody has seen this video can, from the University wait, of Virginia showing oh, yeah, a right. student. You can kind of skip ahead and show thing. some of the other interview portions if you want. Okay. But yeah, like right here. Uh, you got to skip up a little bit more. I taught I yeah, flap my gums a little long there. Okay, You're good know. at it, though. <laughs> you are good at it. You get it. And, and yeah. everyone needs to go over and watch Drone Tech Politics. Um, maybe it's right here. Where? Okay, yeah. Let's yeah, go, there you let's go. Skip up to right here. Okay. You guys need to go over and watch this stuff, though. It's great. But here is the insanity of um, um, this cultural Marxist uh, intersectionality, um, white privilege gone amok in in brainwash it's literally brain damaging and brainwashing that now these white kids think that they're virtuous because they say i hate myself because i'm white and you know and yeah. they whip themselves on the back and these black people literally think that they can now um tell white people that they have no place speaking or even being because of their uh, immutable you know an immutable characteristic of their skin color it's absolutely yeah. insanity nice shirt by the way what are your thank you on it? um it was interesting because uh, you could kind of take it two ways. I understand as like a person of color, like why that space is there in the first place. Pretty much fine. Like I got space. <laughs> you don't. Him. You I don't understand. Kind of like that. Uh, as like a white person, I guess just. Well, you know, hang time. I was like, you're not white. You're ginger. So there's a difference <laughs> there. <laughs> you also don't count because you're ginger. So I just love how they talk about. <sighs> I love how he talks about himself, like as a white person, like he somehow. There's something wrong with him, and there's something yeah. other about him, and he—it's just odd. It, it, it's just the—it's just this. It's, uh, it's, it's literally brain. I mean, it's—I almost want to call it. It is brain, brainwashing. It's, it's, it's brain indoctrination. It is, and it's like it's going to cause 
brain da- it's brain damage that you think yeah. this that you think just because you're white you can't you know you're a bad guy we have more areas where you can feel comfortable and if they don't feel comfortable in those other areas that it's nice for them to have a space where they do feel comfortable be mindful that it is a space where students of color go to be comfortable and to feel safe and supported um, and when there's white students that are in there doing something that could be perceived as disrespectful i mean you have to understand that that could be hurtful so what what are they doing that could be perceived as disrespectful just being white just like existing, existing apparently <laughs> that's that's what it, where's robert at man i mean i thought oh, he i'm was, here i got plenty to say get, well get after it dude <laughs> oh i do too i do invitation. too so after robert okay go yeah, ahead I mean, robert i dealt with this all the time uh in the debate community first off the idea of safe spaces being beneficial even if you want to erase everything else is nonsense every study shows that this makes things more harmful uh what a safe space does is encourages you to never encounter like diverse opinions or thought that could actually counter your beliefs the universities were set up as an antithesis of this so the idea that somehow they need a space to not be challenged is ridiculous and proves that it's not about education it's about indoctrination furthermore uh you know i'll just say this because i could talk all day on it isn't it ironic that the most progressive of us the biggest social justice, supposedly the biggest leftist among us, agree with the KKK. This was the KKK's argument. This was the Democrats' yeah. argument when they were running the KKK. That of segregation. There should be spaces for white people. There should be spaces for black people. We've come full circle where that used to be racism, and now it's racism to say segregation is bad. That's how insane this is. <laughs> My uh, <clears throat> Tina Gunvalson said, absolutely brain brain damage, complete brainwashing. It, it's what makes me not want to, or, or it's what makes me want to become a hermit and never send my child to public school. <laughs> it's so yeah, true really. though, dude. We have been talking about that. The, the craziness <clears throat> that that is um, uh, taking place in people's <clears throat> minds right now. You know what I mean? With this insanity um, of uh, this intersectionality and this, you know, um, postmodern craziness. You know, it's it's insanity. It's it's yeah. crazy. Let, let's play a little more. Yes. Yeah. Oh, go ahead though. Say something before we do. No, I I just uh, and I said this in my video, but you know, I I really when I was in high school, I was a real big left winger, very like self hating, you know, white person. I kind of saw other white people's bad, and I kind of I came out of that during college due to several things, but. Looking back, it's like, what made me like that? Something made me like that. And you start to realize that it, it's really, they teach history in a very myopic way mm-hmm. uh, with no nuance. And they they teach about racism in the same way. It's a, it's a white problem. And yeah. and that's, it, you can see how that will fester over time and yeah. just basically give people a justification for their, for their hate. And that's what yeah. you got now. Yeah. You heard that right. <laughs> this white student feels that it's okay to discriminate against whites and to dictate where they can and can't go based on nothing I, but their skin color. Plus, these students seem more than willing to let racists who hate them make these decisions. What in the hell are these idiots saying exactly? That it's normal for people of color to feel uncomfortable around whites? How about the other way around? What if white students go. wanted a special space <laughs> yeah. so that they didn't have to feel uncomfortable around black and brown people? Of course, rightfully, oh, this idea would be that. shouted down by these same ignorant can, fools can you can you even imagine just even with the whole like you know um even like the whole uh bl- this is an old thing but the black entertainment television bet can you imagine yeah. if there was a wet white entertainment television that, that, that and their 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 response to that is well every all of the networks are white entertainment television mm, that's, that's not true we, that's why we need a special black entertainment television but it's just like you said there if you flipped the tables and said like what robert was just saying, and that's what we did we did that back in the back in the uh, the you know the jim crow days and everything we actually had that and, and look how people lost their shit oh man robert go ahead yeah yeah i mean it's It's really, I mean, it is about self-loathing and it's about the cultural Marxism. Look, I say this all the time when it comes to the Republicans. The Republicans are focused on winning the next election. These establishment Democrats were focused on controlling the country forever. So they use Saul Alinsky tactics to say it's not just about politics, it's about culture. 
Andrew Breitbart used to say that politics is downstream of culture. And what he meant by that is if you can infiltrate things that influence culture, like education, like the entertainment industry, then you could basically indoctrinate and brainwash people to believe the most self-loathing things to, in order to give these powerful establishment people po uh, power over you. And this is the, uh, you know, the most blatant example we see of it. Yeah. I mean, even if you take it like, okay, let's give the most generous perspective we can to this. And let's say, oh, okay, well, it's rare to see people that look like you if you're black on campus, because maybe some universities, black students might make up 10% or less, etc. If they're in the minority, they need a space for being in the minority. But we know that it's almost two to one that women are... Um, the big the bigger group in universities than men so does that mean we should have men only spaces well no we've had those like fraternities that were even off campus and you see them being attacked in fact they put title IX in to say oh no 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 you can't have like men only activities and things like that. that's how it's been interpreted so we can see kind of the insanity how it's just it's not even about being a minority uh, yeah. Because technically men are minorities at most universities. Right. Well, that doesn't matter to them. So well, that's because we're the patriarchy. Is, they're saying white men. Uh, now, I don't care. As someone who's a white man, that's the least interesting thing about me. I don't care about that stuff. But the yeah. fact that you could be discriminated for that, it's absolute nonsense. It's Hey, can I just interject one thing there? Yeah. You said, like, I don't care about that stuff. I'm the same way, man. And doesn't it bug you that we're forced into this right. like yep. ridiculous shit mm -hmm. like yep. i hate it because i i've always grown up i don't care what your skin color is i don't judge people right. on such you know right. uh surface level things right. and yet you know we're pulled into this crap and then we get cast as like right-wing nazis when right. we're the most the furthest thing from that it's no, we are, that, aggravating that's the, the thing is that it's literally the people more on the you know, the, the, the right leaning group. And I don't want to just say all the Republicans. It's just it's really more because, I mean, you think about like even the the Tim Pools of the world or some of these people that are more like just 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 uh, um, moderate, if you will, when it comes to I, I it's I don't even know where yeah. how to explain that. It's because if anything left of this crazy Marxist absolute asinine ideology and brainwashing anything to the right of that is you are you are one of the ists and the isms and you're in the bigot category i mean i mean that's why like tim pool of all people is considered alt right you know what i mean no. even though yeah it's it, it, insane it's completely it's completely effing insane that that well, go ahead yeah well take the idea of affirmative action right like I don't think that look i'm against a lot of the taxation and stuff that we have but i'm not a predisposed to being against the idea of trying to give underprivileged people a leg up. Mm -hmm. uh, but why wouldn't affirmative action then be based on income levels of your family as opposed to race? I think we could all agree with that. But think of the idea behind affirmative action in that you want to take these people that didn't have a chance to be privileged and then put them in these universities. And the idea is give them a equal ground as much as possible with quote the privileged people that are already there so even in that world if you're looking at it like that why the hell would you then go to the next step to say oh but you can't fit in with them you have to have your own space yeah, yeah. you're different than them you'll never be like them yeah. and, and and to do it along racial lines is even more repugnant we can all see it but even if you buy into their crap if you take their argument as generously as possible it still doesn't make sense why would you be telling it's not good for the white people obviously but it's not good for the black people either because you're basically telling them you will never fit in with this group you will never be right. someone that can succeed on your own merits so you need your special little safe space and that's offensive to black people as well because yeah. you're treating them like children you would never do that to white people you would never go to a historically black university that decided to leave white people in and say oh we need white only spaces you'd say no the white people could handle it. They could deal with it or they'll go to a different university. Yeah, but once exactly. more, we have to infantilize black people. It's no, I know. It's a soft, it really is soft bigotry. It, it truly is. It, it's a soft form of racist and babying black people and people of color that it's like they can't handle it. They've had such a hard time in the in our, in our history that they that we need to handle them with kid gloves and walk on eggshells around them. And, and I don't understand. And it's just this constant indoctrination of victimhood, right? That is just... But what I, I don't seem to understand is how these how they can't see that. 
I mean, and I know there is a there is a large portion of the black community that's waking up to this bullshit, right? And yeah. and leaving this, and even if they're not coming full right to the conservative, you know, this paradigm paradigm that we live in, right? The right and the left and all this crap, but they're waking up to the nonsense behind this. Um, um, keeping them on their keeping them on the plantation. It's really they're just keeping them their n words is what they're doing, you know. And I have to, you know, I could I could actually because we know I'm not saying that you know derogatorily since we're on youtube i can't say it because it'll get taken down that's why perfect segue everybody needs to follow on d live because d live i would have just dropped that word uh, just how it is because um you know just to explain the insanity of this but we can't because we're on youtube and youtube sucks so everyone also follow all all of us at d live mine is sjg perspective you can find robert nowhere nor 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 and nor, then, nor. And nor, nor, nor. And then you can also <laughs> find um, a drone tech um, on there too. So you guys need to um, all find or all go and uh, check them out. So, anyways, yeah. uh, let's listen to this uh, turd liquor, what he has to say. Need to be aware of the uh, fact that it's not a space for them and make sure that, like, when they're entering their space oh, or gay. that space, they're not, like, taking up the space for Is other like, people she? of color that want to use it. This is a multicultural <laughs> space and it doesn't look God. multicultural, then the multicultural people. At UVA, feel less comfortable here. I can't. Think. Oh my God! They're that's so pussies. Idi- they're such, such pussies. It, it's so idiotic what they're saying too. I mean, it. To me, it just sounds like old school, like Klansman racism. They're talking about white people like they're like aliens or something. It's so crazy. They're not multicultural. What are you talking about? Yeah. So, so wait a minute. Really? So they're not multicultural. Isn't white part of the multi multicultural? Isn't that part of the culture? Not only that. Right, not only that, but whites come from a wide variety of places, so it's like a lot of different cultures. Yeah, it's just stupid. It, it's Beans. and you know, I, I also want to point out. Oh, go ahead. You can go ahead and play her real okay. quick. UVA statement was ridiculous, and that it's a multicultural student space, and that um, white people need to be aware of the spaces that they occupy on grounds, and that we need to all be aware of two things. I want to the kind yeah. of. I don't know the way that we occupy spaces around everything and I think that she had a good point and she wasn't aggressive she was very clear and concise with what she said and she had a good point it's very hard for people to have a space good point. where they feel like safe and the MSC so what do they feel unsafe about in the presence of a white person we're not wearing hats right. and we're not wearing tiki you know carrying tiki torches and wearing white hoods Right. Right. And, you know, and burning crosses or whatnot. How do you not feel safe? And and for for the professors and for the the, the teachers that have programmed, they are c- causing this kind of a crazy ass division in America to where it's going to come. Cul- it's going to start culminating in in serious race, you know, race conflicts or race wars starting to happen. And they're the ones causing it. Not the not the white people for being fucking white. It's it's insanity. Were you going to say something? Yeah. No, I so there's a few things like that. That girl, the the way she talked about white people being being places, she said white people occupy spaces. Uh, yeah, and that to me, it it sounds so like almost people. right. But but they're just being there. We occupy as if we're like they what? talk about white people now, like we're all colonizers just by existing <laughs> in a spot. We're ocu- occupying it. Excuse me. <laughs> almost like they, we invaded, uh, you know, in Iraq and we're occupying Fallujah. You know, it, it, it's loaded language first of all and um I, I think that a lot of these students feel like they have to say this stuff sure. they may yeah. think something else but they have to say this to, yeah. to not be tarred and feathered as a witch it's and almost like could, the Salem witch trials you could almost see in that girl's face like she was confused and didn't really know what she was saying and just was ta- trying to remember everything that's been brainwashed into her brain right. to she just knows it. she doesn't she, want to say something bad about yeah, a black person and, that's yeah all. exactly exactly listen and it's the same anytime you see like when you go see like an Antifa rally or you see a college campus mob, like the one that was surrounding Caitlin Bennett at Ohio University this week, God. they just repeat slogans. They don't think yeah. for themselves. It is it is literally like indoctrination. Like you read 1984. This is how you brainwash someone. You just beat these phrases into their head. And so they're not giving you their honest opinion. They're just, this is what I'm supposed to say. The teacher says two plus two is equals what? You say four. Like it's they someone says, what do you think about diversity? White people are bad. That's yeah. what you're that's what you're taught to say. And it's it's really I mean, it's tragic. This is why I say defund the universities. I think we should get it trending. Um, now, I'm not saying every university, but any university that allows things like this racial spaces, any university that allows a mob 
to chase people of a certain political ideology out. Each of those universities should never receive a dime from me or yours tax dollars. Why should we fund people that are preaching hatred of us based on our skin color? I mean, yeah. that's that's absurd. You would never do it the other way. No. If there was a university saying, yeah. no, 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 we think oh black God. people are occupying too much space. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. And, you would, and there's there a bunch a of mass... stuff that keeps coming up missing. And uh... <laughs> yeah, Right. And doesn't and that you, make you yeah. wonder? Doesn't that make you wonder <laughs> just like on an intellectual Owen, level? Owen Benjamin would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's going to get our stream taken down. Go ahead. No, Sorry. I mean, like, that just that just makes me wonder about people in general. Like, do how many people out there actually are thinking like at all about these things? Like, it just seems like people take positions based on either emotion or how taking that position will affect them socially or something. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. It's like racism to me, it's clearly wrong because I treat people like I want to be treated. And yeah. so I would never treat somebody like that. And, but other people, it's almost like they do have like racist beliefs, but the, I, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it's like they don't really on a in, on a principal level they don't get it. Everybody well, is racist in, to some degree, or 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 discerning, maybe you can call it, or you have that. I mean, every single when you 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 judge, it's discernment, it's judgment, it's you do that when you meet somebody, you size them up, you judge them, and yes, I'm sure that there is a bit of a. Um, well, I don't think that's even true that like when you meet like a black person or a brown person, you judge them differently. You're judging them immediately and making judgments about them and making judgments about somebody is called a evolutionary, you know, response, if you will. It's it, it keeps you safe. It keeps you can it keeps you aware of your surroundings, who you're letting into your personal space and your bubble. So I don't think that's wrong in any way, shape or form. I don't care what color you are. If you're a stranger and I'm meeting you for the first few minutes or whatever, sure. I'm, I'm sizing you up and i'm i am judging you i am judging you right yeah yeah i mean that's true stereotypes exist i remember my first uh class i ever took at university I had a comm class and the professor asked who here will admit to using stereotypes and i was the only one who raised my hand and then i had to argue for 30 minutes which i'm a good arguer so i did just <laughs> fine but you know i talked about some of the same things imagine that you're a caveman and you see a saber tooth tire tiger well i'm not going to make a judgment uh you know i'm i'm going to uh feel this out like the key is though that you don't allow your initial stereotype to influence once you get greater knowledge we're all as humans operating off knowledge systems that we currently have so if i see someone who's incredibly tall and muscular i might say hey heck of an athlete right and then i talk to them they're like actually i'm terrible at athletics i'm a computer scientist well now i revamp my knowledge i don't continue to engage in a stereotype that says nah you must not be a computer right that would be nonsense so there, there's no problems with that, with the idea of initially having a stereotype. Yeah. It's inevitable because we label and categorize things as humans. Yeah. But with this situation in particular, the other thing that is to say, look, this is the danger of sort of, I don't know how to term this, but I'll call it positive racism. The idea that it's like, oh, black people need a hand. Oh, black people this. People of color that. Oh, they're great people. Oh, they're, right? Like when you have that focus, which seems to differentiate us based on race, but it's in a positive sense. You're only a small step away from saying, oh, and white people are bad. They're occupiers. Right. Right. And it's the same crap that I, I see it and I argue with it on the right as well. When people want to play identity politics on the right and they want to say, well, we need, you know, there needs to be a country for white people and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not going to play that identity politics game on the left or the right. I'm not going to play it with people of color or with white people. Yeah. I'll defend when I see that it's being used egregiously on either side, but that doesn't mean my offense at this girl, this faculty member's statement, that doesn't mean that I'm saying, woe is me as a white person. Right. I'm saying, woe is us as a country. Woe is us as yes, a university yes, right. that we put up these bigoted stereotypes that should have been done 50, 60 years ago. Such yeah. obvious shit. It's like so obvious. It's right. like, what are you thinking? But it's because and it's all designed, dude. They're wanting to do that yes. and bring that back because they want this division. And this, when did all this division start to boil back to the surface when it was starting to die down and it seemed like we weren't pull, pulling the race card all the time? Yeah. When did it happen? About 2008. What happened in about 2008? Yeah. Oh, that's right. We it, had our first black president. And then all of a sudden, right. racism starts exploding back onto the scene and it's alive and well, you know. It's an industry. I mean, these there's people that make their lives on it. And 
it, I, you know, Rush Limbaugh used to always talk about that, how it will never end because they'll never allow it to. Like, they yeah. just won't let it. There's too much money in it, yeah. too much power, no, right. too much control over people. Because what would the left What would the left media and the, and the liberal media and the mainstream media have to do if they couldn't play the race card right now? Well, think about how much viewership and how much content they would lose right off of the get-go because of what, it's, what their go-to. Let's listen to, actually, we've been talking about the reaction from the students after hearing this chick speak. Let's listen to what this chick had to say that spurred all these things. We kind of did it in reverse, but anyways, here's what she said. Excuse me, black woman talking here. You need to listen. Excuse me. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. Y'all white people a, need to know your place. And you know what? Here is my stereotype that's bought, that's spot the frick on, dude, is that there is this attitude within uh, so many of these black chip. women, chip on their shoulder, dude, that is just so Big. annoying. And they like yeah. they, they act like, oh, you just don't like me because I'm a strong black woman. No, I don't like you because you're annoying and you yeah. have a chip on your shoulder and you're a bitch to listen to. That's why I don't like listening to you. It has nothing to do with your skin color. It has to do with your demeanor and what's coming out of your mouth. That's what I don't yeah. like. And that's not yeah. a racist comment. That's just being a good person or being a lack thereof. So let's listen to her. And frankly, there's just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color so just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up white people are people of color make some of us pocs uncomfortable with pocs or pos's did actually she, said, did she, say she POS? actually said poc yeah did she say P -O poc or pos because i'm gonna go with pos on this one pos oh. actually not poc you are a pos <laughs> too many white people in here it's only been open for four days and frankly there's the whole university for a lot of y'all to be at and there's very good <laughs> for us. So keep that in mind. She can't be? Thank you. <laughs> what is she talking about? Oh. She can be anywhere in the university. Mm. It's not so